Greetings, and welcome to today's Practice Advantage Pearl. I'd like to take a few minutes with you today to do the math. And as cultural mores sometimes have it, a lot of people have an aversion to doing the math. As a matter of fact, I live with somebody that has an aversion to doing the math. My daughter, who actually has a t-shirt that says, I'm an English major, you do the math. So there are times even when my daughter and certainly you have to do the math. Some of you in your practices do the math all the time. I'd like to go through a simple exercise to talk about how busy you might have to be on an annual basis using a few parameters that are doing the math in a simple way to meet projections. Let's make an assumption. You've got a target salary for the physician of $350,000 a year. You know that for the practice, the overhead is running at about 55%. So just to meet the overhead and the salary requirements, nothing else, you need $770,000 on an annual basis. Let's make an assumption about reimbursement. Let's say all of your evaluation and management codes, all of your procedures lumped together on average yield $150 in reimbursement per encounter. So doing the math, we divide we end up with needing to do 5,133 encounters each year. So an average physician is probably going to be working 46 weeks out of the year, meaning 112 encounters per week. So let's assume it's a diligent and focused uh, professional and we're doing 22.4 then on a five-day work week encounters. So 22.4 on a five-day work week. Let's shift it up say you want to make that a little bit more compact, you work a four-day week, you're actually going to have to be doing 27.9 encounters. Let's change it up just a little bit. Let's make another assumption. Let's say that reimbursement is really 144 instead of 150 per encounter based on the average of your E&M and your procedures. Doing the math there means you're going to have to see 200 more patients per year or 5,347 encounters per year, and four more each week or approximately one more a day. So looking at the various variables for viability, you can see how something as simple as changing the reimbursement for your practice can make a big difference in how you might have to work. Given that, it's an opportunity for you to make a projection. How close are you to targets and expectations along the way? This works for today's world, and it doesn't include all the variables, obviously, but it gives you a simple direction for making your pro projections. Finally, this is in today's fee-for-service milieu. Tomorrow we'll be in a fee-for-value milieu, most likely. I think that math's going to get a little bit harder, so doing the math is going to take on a whole new sort of spin to it. Thank you for today's opportunity to share this pearl with you. I hope that your projections meet your expectations. And also, I hope you'll take a moment to go to the Practice Advantage website to check out other practical tools for practice success. Thank you.